Okay, sir. So there's a question here, sir, from online. From our online folks. It says, if women know what they want in men for real, will they be able to still marry if the person changes or doesn't meet their expectations? That sounds like that if women know what they want in men for real, would they still be would they would they be able to still marry if the person changes or doesn't meet their expectations? Okay. The question sounds confusing. It sounds confusing, Seth. I'm not sure the person is clear. I, I'm not okay, sure you, if somebody can help us understand want, it. Then you now get into it and you start the person change. So what did you want? Or what were you expecting? Or what changed? Maybe you should. And doesn't meet the expectation. Maybe should they stay? If, they, if, since I know what I want, can they still stay if changes happen in your marriage? So sometimes we have expectations and we don't communicate these expectations to the other person. It's all in our head and we are expecting that this guy should be spending 500000 for me every month. This guy should be taking me out on a date every month. And you never communicated your expectation. It's all in your head. Then you got into marriage and you're expecting him to have those expectations. And I, I see most ladies have this. And you know, you ask them what is wrong. Nothing. They feel, or women feel, you should know what they want. Like... You should know that I, I want bone straight. You should know that by now I should not be walking on the street of Lagos. You should know. So they feel the man should know something. So you have your expectation. You've never communicated it to the man. So I think here yeah, communication might be lacking. So if you communicated your expectation, instead of being disappointed later on, you would know if this guy or this lady can't meet the expectation. And there are some expectations that we place on the other person that is unrealistic. Even you cannot meet them. <laughs> but as a lady, we feel that because we are ladies, we should be at the receiving end. Who says you should not be the one yeah, to yeah. give out? <laughs> Please, when 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 do that, the question is due for applause. So, 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 but you, you remain with Neko yeah. and NC uh, uh, from uh, yeah, Jesus Christ. Which of course is for boy is a skin. Papa said you are Jesus Christ. He's here yesterday, today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know if you should want to uh, maybe you know put us on that. No, I, 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 Mama, Mama put it right. I mean, it's hard to improve on that because I, I think um, the. My opinion, I think there should be a university of life <laughs> that people don't <laughs> that people should people should go through. People who just sit down, just say we should meet here. And I you expect your world to be getting updates about your we can't do that, you know. It's 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 um it's it's a lot to you know how you just want something good. I just want a good car. There's a maintenance cost yes, to that good car. If you want a good relationship, there's a maintenance cost to a good relationship. Every good relationship has maintenance costs. Yes, and I don't mean money. I mean commitment. You know, so I think Mama has said it so well that yes, we should try to communicate the point. And I also say that men should also try as leaders to help their partners you know, um, open up. You know, sometimes it's, um, it's as it is for ego for men, it is for timidity for women. So, like, how men have ego, it's my ego, 
women are sometimes saying I but generally women are generally timid. So they expect you to know. They don't want to tell you that they need you. They want to know that they need you without telling you they need you. You should know what to do. You should get their signal. For them, that's the sign that you are their person. That you can get the code without them talking. That that guy gets me. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's a blessing to have that. And I say it's good. But then you as the guy try to also do the work. The work so like Mama spoke for, so to speak, for the men. I'm also speaking for the women now that the guys should try to do the work to carry their spouse along, to set expectations, to identify milestones. You know, your relationship, if it's making progress, and people have said you couldn't last six months, and you've lasted six months, you may not have bought a car, but you've lasted six months. Mm-hmm. That's a milestone to acknowledge. You know, so in that sense, you have, you have not yet bought a Rolls Royce. Eh, the time for that is coming. We've disappointed some people. Mm-hmm. We are still staying together. That's something to celebrate. Yes, we are making progress. We are, we are counting the days. You know, so you, you want to watch. You want to watch for that. That. So in that sense, the man should try to be intentional to look inwards. Yes, I think a lot of relationships, without knowing, it, sometimes seek to make outsiders happy. You know, make yourselves happy. If for a long time, I kept telling my I don't want us to talk about anybody. We are not talking about anybody. It's us. We don't have gist for anybody. I don't want us to talk. Nothing to say by anybody. There's nobody relevant here. You know, it's just me and you. How was your childhood? I've forgotten. I mean, I remember I used to, they used to flog me. You know, everybody says his own. And somehow, gradually, you find out that there are things to celebrate in your own house rather than meeting certain people's expectations. So I, I'm just going to corroborate or compliment what I think she has said so well. Your relationship the ladies should set real expectations and try to share it. There will be no disappointment in marriage if there are no expectations. Yes, so the only reason why there's a, a disappointment is because there are expectations. And those expectations, if they are not shared, there is a problem. You know, so I think I will stop there for now. I'm sure as we go on. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> in case you have questions, yes. Contend with in this world. <laughs> Did you even know yourself? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm speaking for myself. What you don't know can't kill you. Or hurt you. So seriously, what are you looking for passwords for? I don't know if Pastor feels differently. No, no, I don't feel differently. I feel the first problem is you to even be thinking like that. Yeah. That's the first, that's my first problem. And that thinking that was his password. I don't know his password. That thinking is going to make him misbehave. You don't know it, but actually that's your thoughts is a programming language that will resonate in him without asking. There's a behavior people give. For example, if people are flirting, there's a behavior. The other person will get the signal. If people are afraid, even dogs will know you're afraid. They will know this one is one that is afraid. This one is... That's the same way if you are insecure, you will give back to secure, insecurity will happen. It's a, it's a very strange principle, but it's true. The moment, just like if you see dogs, dogs are, oh, 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 they know who is afraid. This one, we're coming for this, this is the person that is afraid. That's the same way if you are insecure, men will know that this one is insecure. And then suddenly, strange things will happen. I would think the first problem for me is to be thinking like that. If you had to go into a relationship with suspicion in the first place, the problem is not password. The problem is the person you went into. You are, there's a frequency you are not flowing with. Don't add to your problem. 
by discovering what you are looking for. For you that seek it, yes, I, 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 I tell you that that does not introduce or permit lapses mm. on your side. You still need to be vigilant, but not suspicious. Not suspicious. You need to be sensitive, but not suspicious. So I don't think you should be groping for past. I don't. I don't need to bother about that. If we will do that, it is not because. I am not comfortable with him or I'm not comfortable with her. It should be that maybe she needs to respond to him an email and I'm able to help her out. Not that I'm investigating what did somebody say? What did no 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 that 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 for me is unhealthy. It's unhealthy and it's not it's not a function of having his password. Password will not mean they did not send something. Do you get what I'm uh, saying? Uh, yes, password cannot stop some password maybe to find out what he sent to them. That what did he say? What was this? But you can't stop people from talking. You are trying to find out what he said as a response to them. Maybe he's accommodating something mischievous or something, which I can say to you that if you do your work well, there'll be no time for that. If you, if you do your work well, there'll be no time for such. Yes, do your work well. You will occupy, you know, and then. Um... I want to add, just to add to what Pastor said, if you are dating the Christian way, I yes. don't think there will be any reason for you to be the Christian will asking for password. In fact, the guy will submit it. Yes. Not you asking. He will say, let me create it. Yeah. <laughs> you so understand? Are, you know, scripture says something that if the foundation is destroyed, what can be right? Even God can be anything. If your foundation the fundamental of what you get that is with faulty. You will keep success in your life. Even without password, you can have the password and they will be doing your success. Yes. Maybe it's password you want. Yes. Say password. There are many ways people, you know, cheat that they are good at it. So you that you are thinking that you are getting password. You are getting the wrong thing. So I think the best bet is to ensure that your relationship is, you know, the Healthy. foundation is Jesus. Amen. And you are not compromising. Amen. If a guy is not ready to share in your vision and plans, e.g., he doesn't want you to pursue that vision, should you still, should you still be with such a guy or leave? I, 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 can, I can go first, but yes, sir. you know, the thing is that it's relative. Sometimes some of these questions can be answered absolutely. For example, what is the vision? So let's start with that. <laughs> That thing they are calling uh, that your so-called vision can be something that is totally at dissonance with progress. If you come out with something that is totally not consistent with progress, it can give us a lot of more problem. You understand? So I would say I would say that it's a good thing for you to pick for you for you to pick up a clarity on what is what you call vision. That thing you call vision, can we know? If your vision is clear, all right, then we can take it from there. It's okay. Now that this vision is clear, maybe it is not time. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not time. You know, sometimes some people have a vision. I just want to go for modeling. I want to compete for most beautiful girl in Lagos. That vision is not healthy for us. Are, are you with me? Yes, sir. Is someone get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. That vision needs to be queried. So I will say, first of all, what is the vision? And if the man has a good judgment on why it should hold on, the sign that you are truly um, submissive, quote unquote, is that you are willing to submit even that timing of that thing. You know, sometimes you want something, but it's not time. So it's not that no, no, no. And the person that said no today can sponsor you tomorrow. Yeah. You know, so just calm down. And don't prove you are wiser. Sometimes it's just a, an attempt to prove 
I know what I'm doing. I know, oh God, if the guy says not yet, we should hold on. So my first challenge is, what is the vision? And then is it a conclus conclusion that no, don't do it? Or do you have, does he have a reason why he's saying don't do it? It might be not yet. It might be something that he knows that he's not sharing with you. So I, I would say that we need more light to that question to be able to answer with exactitude. Yeah. So, so um, there's another one here. Yeah. Yeah. Gender roles in African relationships. Wow, that's a good one. What do you say? Gender roles in African relationships. Is it is it an affirmation for patriarchy system or a balance for own goals? Okay, we are dealing with Christian Thank you. Our own is Christian. <laughs> no, and there's something yes. I don't know, but a lot of um Gen Z, the the alpha generation feel that they can, you know, um Devise their own way. If it works for you, fine. But if it's Christian way, then it has to be according to scriptures. There's nothing like um, Patricia. 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 <laughs> Without saying it, there are roles that for, you can't tell a man to now come and carry pregnant. We know that you know it's a woman's role is gender and without even opening scripture we know who is the head but scripture already told us who the head is in the home and as a woman you have to fall in line so for me whatever you do let god let christ be the center and um what what whatever you want to you know use as your yardstick in your own relationship should now follow the scriptures. Yeah, so so I, I am I th I think that the subject of gender roles in relationships is a very critical one. I, I think the complexity comes I'm not absolute please but just let me say my mind to you. I be, you say your mind, I should say my mind. <laughs> what I truly think is that the complexity begins with feminists who don't understand what feminism is. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with allowing a woman be significant. I think it's unfair. Even God gives them a role of significance. So there are some men who seek to subjugate and silence and suppress the voice of the woman, the woman or the woman race, and uh, just because you are able to um, show matrosing in the bedroom, you believe that the only language of life is sexuality. You know, it's 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 deeper than how I can address it here, but it's a very major conversation. So, for example, like she said, God has already defined. Who should breastfeed the child? Mm -hmm. uh, do you understand what I'm saying? Without talking, we, the child is on, on the couch. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Please. <laughs> Who should go? I don't care how you have <laughs> Bobby as a man. <laughs> just check how lions live. You just know that some things are truly consistent with gender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So having said that, the, the things that I think we should also empower in a woman, the problem sometimes is that women, we, men are generally afraid of women sometimes that because they are emotional, they can get their emotions in the way of certain things. You know, so it's not something we like to admit, but when a woman wants to be wicked, ah, you will know that there's gender role in wickedness. Is <laughs> is at a different class. So typically, you see some men try to suppress them, suppress them, so that 
you won't find that space here. It's not, you know, and, uh -huh. and then there are, there's also the side of culture. Culture also can define gender um, neutrality or activity. For example, if you look at the Chinese culture, they don't, they don't have mind. A woman can be a boss. She can work hard. She can provide. They respect their women. If you want to know, they, they really, in fact, when the mama and I were even saying, it looks like they are afraid of their women. Their women are very empowered, you know, and some culture, they, they are more empowered than others. So in, it's not a global phenomenon yet that gender roles have nullified Christian values. What is gradually happening is that more women are speaking up for their rights. And in speaking up for their rights, it may threaten the familiar path of man's control. For example, I don't think it's right to be telling my wife to go and on generator at night. Since we are trying to do equality, they took light. Say, it's my turn today to on gen. It's your turn tomorrow. To I don't think it's right. I don't know if you understand. Yes, sir. I don't think it's a, it's a I, I should feel responsible that I should provide comfort for the home. Light is down. Go and on it. And more so, I'm not sure she knows as much as I do in that regard. Do, do you get what I'm trying to say? So we should accept the fact that some things are just given. And when it's not given, today we we're both at, in the house. It really was that we we're both picking beans to eat. I was picking beans. There's nobody I, with my anointing, no. <laughs> you know, we are picking beans. That that is not. Is I didn't feel bad. I was upstairs. She was downstairs trying to make, food, and I came downstairs for that purpose. Like, is there any way I can help? You know, I might not know. Like saying kitchen down is very true. I don't. But I'm here to help. Actually, I bring the beans. I was on a call, and I was selecting the good one, picking the bad one. It's not a problem. <laughs> You know? We are when it's called Christian so should partners disclose their sexual issues with each other, and if so, to what extent when about to marry? To what extent? As in, to what extent should you disclose? To what, is there any limits or disclose all your sexual history? Clear yourself and provide body count issues. I actually thought she wanted to say something, that's why I was quiet. I think you should disclose that wisely. Yes, it is just it, it, there's a program. Pastor, what if they had screenings before they became born again? Some some information is not healthy. It's not that it's not necessary. It's not healthy. Even even for the healthiest of minds. Yes. The man can just sit down with the woman and just. Saying, is this my life? He has accepted though, that all things have passed away. Behold, you have become new. There's something Pastor needs to say. There's something Pastor needs to say. Men. So I'm not using anything now. As I'm using men, just know that it's also related to women. <laughs> Seriously, you you ask for forgiveness from God, and truly, truly, your past is now your past. You are, in fact, you are you are born in bright for Jesus. If the man can handle it, even if he can handle it, or the sister can handle it, because I can imagine dating a man that he was, he, or you are going to marry someone that. <laughs> Anything he said was his way of life. And now he's born again. Truly, truly born again. And I don't think he's healthy, even from around him. In my mind, I'm like, okay, maybe 
they want to revisit the past. Yeah. Or he has told he told you in detail. There were styles that you were doing, and I have not been able to adapt. Oh my god. In my mind, that was so for me. Let me just let me just so that I don't beat around the bush. If Pastor might have a different opinion, but thank God I am I I didn't have that path. Glory to God. Yeah. And I'm not condemning condemning anyone who have had a path. Trust me. When you come to God, when you got born again, your path is your path. You you are as good as new. Somebody say glory. Yeah. Even those who uh, who are virgin or who um, were undefiled before they got married might not have it as good as you because you are truly God's child. The moment you accepted Him and you you found your identity in Christ Jesus. So if if for you as a man, if you can handle it and you want your babe to tell you, God help you. And I hope that you will not hold it against her. Not that you will not be hard. Well, uh -huh. uh, Shebi, you said that you were doing crazy stuff. You put your legs in one place, and now you are now behaving. You are doing missionary for me. Don't start. And she's feeling like, is it because I told you? So if you can't handle it, but if the guy can handle it, because you know there are some badass. They done their own. Too. So you can tell. I, I, I thank you, Mama. <laughs> I, I think we should appreciate Mama for that. <laughs> that one. <laughs> In my in my in my opinion, I feel that the first question for me is why do you need the updates? Why do you need it? And you that wants to tell, why do you want to tell? For me, purpose and motive is almost everything that informs my character. Why? Why are you okay? We've had you here. You want to tell you, I know you have plenty. Why do you want to tell me? If what you want to tell me will make me trust you less. I don't need it. Do you understand? Yes. You know how some people say, I can't want to hear what I've heard. Yes, uh -huh. I've heard this one. Man, man, it's hard to hear what I've heard. I am of the opinion that you should check your motive. Why do you want to tell him? Why do you want her to tell you? Now, you may think it helps trust. Don't, don't, misunderstand my question of saying why to mean there's no need no i'm saying why so that if what i want to tell you i can tell you without being explicit or graphic or being detailed i can still communicate it without having to tell you ah this happened that happened did not happen that you know i will try my best there but the objective of why is the first question i'll ask you why do you want to know if you are the one that wants to know why do you want to tell if you are the one that wants to tell if you want to know i am of the opinion there's something they call material facts i don't know if you've ever heard that yes, word sir, some facts are not material facts are not material some facts are material so if i want to tell you what happened here now i don't have to go the clock was white with peacock kind of design and then there were 16 balloons in the middle. That's not material to the meeting today. It was designed. Just give, you understand? You don't have to start to tell to, to, to. Uh, she's the war, black cap. That, it has entered the book. <laughs> so I, I'm of the opinion that select the facts that are material. And what is a material fact? A, a fact is considered material. A fact is considered material if it can influence the judgment of the other person. Did you hear what I just said? I said a fact.
for pray I've for done prayer. This. I've waited. I've texted two lights. We're not praying. We'll deliver this time. Brother, sorry. they say call you now. Now call. Anyway, that is a very. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah! So you have those type of situations. That's a material fact, sir. If a guy is gay, you are gay. You want to marry as I'm not telling you film trico. You have to know that at this age and stage in life and ministry, we we know what we're saying with examples. Sir. So you, you are gay. You do not say you say you believe that marrying a woman will make you now stable. <laughs> But they are meeting you doing strange things, you know, with brother. Having new picture with brother. Koyemi, brother. With all this one that we are saying, the brother looks so so <laughs> so those things are material facts. In such a situation, the 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 authenticity of the whole thing can be faulted, can be flawed. So I would just say that disclosure is very important, but um, be wise about it and don't withhold material facts from one another. Yeah, I think what Pastor is saying, but what I'm saying, what you're saying, you're not going to be able to do that. Not that you will take me by surprise. Yes. If you, and you are trusting God to correct you that, okay, you want to be straight. Yes. Let me be able to decide yes. that, okay, we'll walk with you. Together, we'll pray about Thank it. Not that you would have a decide for me if no, I'm comfortable no. with it. No, there's no threesome in this marriage. Yes, people. yes, amen. So, you help me. Tell me, okay, am I able to, you know, go along with this, pray with you, have faith in the sense that we are praying to God to correct you and make you straight. Then, for the lady that, you know, I don't think the past, which will not get. Believe God can heal me. I'm just thinking God that if we walk this together by the day, we can not you spring things on me by surprise. So all I'm saying or what I can deduce from what for from what Pastor is saying is that let the process go to the Judgment by his yes. Thank you, man. So, in a situation where the the man is um, is like that in that condition, the woman, what she meant to do? She meant to. No, that's not what I said. No, no, no. I can't oh, deliver. Like, yes, yes. Why can't, can't you say it? <laughs> oh, they said no one there. Why the man can't de- deliver, sir? What? But well, how did you know that yeah, you have done it in the past? Because you are talking about the same thing. Yes, yes. So if it's that. Yes. So if it's true, that, what I later found out is that there are many reasons why men may not deliver. Chief of them is mental. Be mental. And I'm looking at you like, and this problem, problem, <laughs> stress will not make him deliver. It's, it's very likely, it's very possible. Um, I know that sometimes inexperience can make a man look sterile. But I'm concerned, for example, when you were dating yourselves, there should have Joseph can laugh. Energy. Energy. Yes. You should be saying stop it. Stop it. Yes. Yes. But the guy is always saying let's pray, let's pray. <laughs> okay, we are praying. You are not even feeling like touching. Stop it now. Yes. You know we are Christian yes. brothers and stop it. Yes. So if there's nothing like that, yes. Maybe because that's what I was asking. How did he know Aaron, he couldn't problem. perform when it's not like he has been doing? Because we are talking about, you know, let's assume that people here have not tasted this forbidden food and they are going into marriage. You don't know that you can't deliver anything. And what's the wedding night? You don't know anything. 
So you need to talk about guided. it. Mm. So I will say to you, please, just as it is true that if the man doesn't have erection, if the woman too is also always temper, 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 it is a very major sign. So I don't want us to limit it only to erections and all that. It also can be in character, as the case may be. So I'm sure we'll God will grant us understanding. Write it. You might not. You see, the truth is that for him to always have sex with you when you want to talk means that you two are enjoying the thing, which is good. But so that you don't lose your mind, write it down. Write your thoughts down, and put it there. If talking does not work and he just always wants to go cover up with, with sex, which I think is not bad, I personally believe that every conflict should end in the bed. As a spouse, I pers is a personal belief. I practice it. Amen. So. It doesn't just go that I will just fought for nothing. Or more, the resolution is intimacy. It should bring us closer. It should bring us nearer. It should make us love ourselves some more. I think the person is saying he won't talk and he wants to just have sex and cover up the whole. Uh, I'm going to answer that. I'm going to speak to that. I'm so, so I'm saying that I'm trying to encourage that the idea of sex as in marriage is good. Do you get? But I'm also trying to say to you that, to the best of my opinion, as of now, if I know better, I will speak honestly. I am of the opinion that you should write your thoughts. If you've been trying to have a conversation with him and he's dodging it, dodging it, dodging it, maybe you should write it and share it with him. Then if it's not still working, maybe you can introduce an intermediary. You know that thing I was saying? Yeah. Yes, in conflict management. Before it becomes a crisis, conflict starts first. But before you confront, you can confront during conflict. But before confrontation, should be conversation. So when conversation does not work, we confront. You know there's a difference. Yes, sir. And there are rules to confrontation. If you don't know what we're talking about, get the message. Or yes, ask sir. Yes, <laughs> so it helps. So that I've initiated, and it's actually biblical. You've initiated the conversation, you've initiated the conversation. If it's not working, then you go confront. If it doesn't still work, then you introduce intermediation or intermediary to help you so that at least you can, what you cannot say, at least you can't be having three some there yeah, when we are talking. You can't say he wants to have sex. No, no, no. So mm -hmm. someone else is going to help you convey the thoughts. Maybe you are not able to land it enough and you are vulnerable to him. Before you finish talking, he does what he wants to do. And covers it up. I don't know. I'm sure my mom can help me after here. But what I suggest is that write your thoughts down, capture them, or record it. This word of record it. I don't like the way you used to forget my birthday. When you forget my birthday, it used to pay me like a bad day. If you say everything, then when you finish, send it in voice notes. Do you? There are many ways to to throw the thing. No, no, no. Make your efforts. Make your efforts. You cannot skip or conclude someone will not listen until you try. I think it's even a good thing to sleep with you. I feel so. But of course, not at the expense of communication. No. And I'm just saying it's a good thing. And I don't want us to discourage that is joy of sleeping with it. At some point, you should be able to listen to you too, you know. So write it, type it, voice note it, or whatever thing. They just try. If that doesn't work, scale it up to having an intermediary, maybe your pastor. And just you know come for a casual counseling and just slide it in what the issues are and then you need to try to be articulate so 
Ja. I'm sure maybe while the both of you were dating before you even got married, because I assume this person is married. Because you can't be talking about sex if it's not on the in, in, in the marriage. of marriage. So I assume that when you were dating, no matter how short it is, you'd have noticed that the signs that this person does not like to talk or communicate. You should have at that point asked, how do I get through to you or how can I communicate my thoughts or whatever is wrong? Because you can't, um, marriage does not change. Pastor used to say this, I've known him say this all my life. Or, or, or for the time I've known him. Marriage does not change a man or a woman. It only amplifies what Absolutely. that person is. So you if are. he was a stingy person, I'm just using that as an example. Trust me. It becomes more stingy. Marriage will not make him generous. generous. No. It only makes him look inside and see why he should be more. Res responsibility has not done it. Then he knows that, you know, so don't think marriage changes anyone. You are not the spirit of God. You are not the Holy Spirit. You can't change it, man. You can only communicate and as pray that the person gives you the right Response. resonance or feedback to whatever you're saying. Trust me. We are only we are all work in progress and we just as because whatever you are communicating is an expectation you have that you think the other person should meet one way or the other. So if they are not getting you, just trust God that one day this lady or this guy will just get it. And I don't know because we, we, we don't have the power to change any man. Yeah. We don't. And like I said, the pastor used to say, you are not you are not going to change because you married someone. If you are stingy, marriage will not make you generous. You, it only amplifies whatever you, you are when you are stingy. Oh. Hallelujah. I, I, we don't have too much time, um, and I want to also, you know, to, you know, just pop our minds as well, so that while Jim and Mama, are, while, while they are speaking, as much as we want to um, think that it's not me or it's not you they are talking to, we should, I think, we should first take it in that what are the things that they are saying? That how does this thing affect me first? But there's a way you can be laughing and like, mm -hmm, like it is someone else. Yeah. It might not be someone else they're talking to. It might be actually us that were not, you know, paying, we were probably not paying attention to it. Or Your you know, you, the future you. Uh, or the future. Or the future you. So, I, 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 so this came through, um, I mean, I've, I've witnessed um, sessions like this for longest of times. I realized that the years, the years ago, then I, I always felt like it's not me that they're talking to that um, the people that the people are talking to they they are there then. Now I wish I you know paid more attention. So I wanted to help our minds that please they are speaking. First, first thing is scan it through you and see that if it is something that you, you feel that you, you can it doesn't concern you, take it in first. And then it helps our learning to the future. Praise God. There are questions here. Uh, I, I, I'll just take Three more questions, and because time and time is fast spent. Okay, so I'm going to ask two questions in one. Okay. So it says, is that part of the three? Sir? Is that part of the three? Yes. So it means one more. Okay. So, so can spirituality enhance a romantic relationship or marriage? And if so, how, sir? Mm -hmm. And um, there's one, there's one in, okay, this is the two in one. So I'll ask the three and six. Okay. okay. So, um, what steps can we take to rebuild the relationship after a betrayal? How good or bad is the... I'm trying to... So, this, uh, this, this, um, can a relationship survive infidelity and is forgiveness possible? And how can we rebuild a relationship after betrayal? 
far as the trade, how can we rebuild, rebuild the relationship? And also, um, can a relationship survive infidelity? And is forgiveness possible? So I think we... Please, let's take it again. Infidelity? Yes. Can a relationship survive infidelity? Is that one question? Yeah. And, uh, yes. That's as far continuous. Okay. In, continu in continuity, is, is forgiveness possible? Okay. And now, now that I've been, I feel betrayed, how do I rebuild? Are those the three questions? So that's two. So that's the third one. But the, the two is can relationship survive infidelity? Is forgiveness possible? Okay. Then the second one is that I I feel, I feel betrayed. How do I rebuild trust back? I would take on the spirituality. He has not asked that one. No, no that was the first one. No, but I've moved. I've, I've moved. And he has moved. Okay. You're not asking that now, but you no, want to yes, ask it. Uh, uh, there's something Mommy said in one of um, the sessions we usually have. And when I say Mommy, Mommy, it's Mommy, I did dream that okay, a lady um, had a trespass or a guy trespass doesn't make them at least you know that it was a trespass and they've asked for forgiveness. So can you move on? It's like um I wish I can say it in the Okay, he said forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. After forgive me, after a while, he will just leave you, my friend, deal with it. So if the lady or the guy, I'm assuming is married now, trespassed and, you know, infidelity occurred, forgive if the person is the lady, you know, repentance and forgiveness is truly possible. But who are we? God forgive us. Why would you be holding on to? Because if it's all the sins you've committed, trust me, you don't deserve forgiveness. But if the person is truly really repentant and asks for forgiveness, I feel forgiveness is absolutely 100% possible. Yeah, I, 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 I think, um, I think that sometimes people don't take the so there's a relationship between that your spirituality question and this question, but that one, that question was tied to romance. Yes. But I, I would have still introduced it. You see, um, the the way we take Christianity, I feel we just invite make it look like an invitation into moral rectitude. To do right things to do right things to do right things in your journey of christianity you will make mistakes plenty for those of us who are sincere i i think um you know how somebody hates fornication or adultery they can accommodate liars because he lies so you can understand for liars but your problem is the fornication people they are bad people or so people are more tolerant of others in the area of their mutual weakness mm -hmm. i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say whereas you're a criminal in something else <laughs> yeah yes sir so once we've not yet brought up your own as a case file as far as you are concerned, that person is the bad person. So, for example, some people can accommodate that premarital sex is going on, but once it's pregnancy, ah, she's a pregnant woman. She's a pregnant. So, is the pregnant person that is wrong, not the adultery anymore? I don't know if you all yes. the fornication. So, it's a case of it is who we catch that is really wrong i don't know i'm 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 trying to start from the ground you know because people people in my opinion underestimate the power of god's gift of love 
it's it's incredible it's annoyingly incredible and because we are humans i will not permit or suggest a careless use of your forgiveness slits so that because i can forgive you carry go just be doing things wrong no i will not accept that we imagine that as christian relationships it should be a case of i fell into a mistake not that i live there some men are callous enough to stay in their mischief and believe it's okay i mean i'm a man i cannot do this Oga, are you okay it's not okay to do that so i would say that the mistake has to be a mistake not something you thrive in or you feel just be forgiving me i'm also saying that because you know that i, I don't know if you're getting what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to get the balance so that you see that like mama said forgiveness is possible in fact i dare say forgiveness is a must yes you have to forgive you have to forgive like she said also if you say you not forgive after begging you what else should we give you you can't reverse the events i know you feel very disappointed maybe you overrated my capacity and i've said sorry to you sincerely so there's that side of you having to forgive but i'm also saying here about the man or the woman as the case might be that don't intentionally violate the other person don't do it it matter it matters praise the lord Hallelujah. if it's a, it's a concern and you truly recognize it i think it's fair to admit where you are wrong apologize to your spouse or the person concerned and admit that you need a support system not to allow it to continue because that you apologized does not mean you have stopped you need to put things in place to make sure it does not continue i don't know if you get what i'm saying yes, sir. Yes, sir. so you need support system now you as a wife if you can see sincerity you can help him you know, I usually feel that people that don't make their marriages work, we're not ready to give their 100% to it. You need to f help him that this thing is like having a wound. It's not that the wound is not physical. It's a maybe mental or emotional or psychological wound. Now, we need to treat this wound. You can't continue to come back after seven, you know, or form systems that will not allow that kind of thing continue so maybe you finish you go and hang out with your boys that hang out with your boys is where opportunity opens up for such mischief you have to come home sir do, do are you guys get what i'm saying yes, so the guy has to show that he's with you and is ready to collaborate by cooperating you know with the terms of not making it happen again so i i, I stay with what mama has said that it is not just possible it is necessary and it is compulsory you forgive as a christian but then I'm also saying to the guy, make sure that it's not a, a, something you do and you you frolic in and say nothing do me. She will me. After a while, your judgment cup will be full, and it's coming. Yeah. To pass for the last question. Okay. Yeah, um, so I'm going to mix put it together as well. How good or bad is not? What are the keys to maintaining excitement and freshness in a long distance relationship? Are they married? Relationship long. Mama. Long relationship. They are not married. Though. Eh? Look. long relationship means many years long distance means there is distance distance no so a date is over for nine years long term uh -huh. long term so the first question is how, how good or bad is long distance uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then what are the keys to maintaining excitement 
and freshness in a long-term relationship. So it's both. Yes, sir. Ah. One was enough. <laughs> Mama. Dating for, dating for six years, seven years. How do you keep excitement and freshness? Mama. So I can't say why do you, um, because we dated for a long time before we got married. But we had a date in view. One of our met me, told me, when you were 27, when you got like seriously 27, what am I doing? And there are plenty of guys. You can also see what would you be waiting for? But today, to God be the glory. <laughs> so, it's not a one size fits all to say, oh, don't date uh, for long term. If you if if you have things you want to achieve and um, it's not your time and you there, there may be many factors involved. You so you don't want to rush into it so that you don't rush out. And there's also the fact that you don't want to wait too long, like scripture says, so that you don't burn for a man. So if there are some things you might not be able to get everything, but it's some factors that you see. Instead of staying too long, ours was because we were still in school. Yes. We were both students. We went for NYS. But immediately we started working. It was like work, marriage. Straight. Like, so for, for us, it wasn't because we wanted to do long term. It was because we, there are things that, even, you know, when you take some steps, your parents will question you that. You are you sure you're ready for are this? Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes, no. Are you sure you, you can take yes. responsibility for this woman? Yes. Children will come into it. But when you have some, you have a, like Pastor would say, you have a, three things. You have a roof over your head. You have a six by six matter. You have a steady source of income. I will add the pot. You have a pot. Pot and a kitchen, yes. Please, you will everything will come inside. Everything today, our house is <laughs> when we move from a place to an, and we, we look at the things we sometimes you can't even take the things we had in the previous house because we have to make new ones. You grow together, there's no point killing yourself or die before your time. Mm. Pastor used to say something. If you are going to die, don't kill yourself. Don't be the one to kill yourself. Don't be saying you want to build a skyscraper or the kind of mansion that others build and uh, before your. By that time, when you are meeting a lady, you are not meeting the truth. They are coming because you are having a push. But there's nothing wrong if you want to get those things. But there's nothing wrong also to build. There's something scripture says about the wife of your youth. Do it on time. Not that when uh, uh, marry on time so that you you it's not when you are 40, you now start being. In fact, when we had our last child, to be carrying car seats oh, up and down. It was embarrassing for me. And the fact that I wanted a girl and person was saying, oh, a girl, trust me. My boys will bring the girls. I am not doing this any longer. I I'm can't. not trying to. Not because, not because, <laughs> not because I, um, I don't want to get. I love and adore. Thank God my niece has a girl. Yeah. These girls, I have plenty sisters, plenty daughters of that Zion here. So marry on time. Like that's what we say. You just. Once you get there, you discover that ah, fire it's fire again. Ah, it's fire again. Build together. Build together. So that, you, you know, the testimony is sweeter. Amen. Amen. And for long distance relationship, I don't know, me, I don't have answer to that. So that it doesn't look like I'm, I don't know how you, you will cope. There's nothing like, you are together, Seth. You are still having struggles. struggles. Now, see, now talk of, oh, 
You are thinking that. Goodness. So how are you coping with this? Let's not assume you are married. Please, how do you fulfill your marital obligation? Don't tempt yourself. On phone. So, um, I pray God help you. So if you are doing, if you are in a long distance relationship, <laughs> if you are in a long distance relationship, uh, pray to God that God helps you to Whatever it is that is keeping you beside the path, you know, can be worked on soon and on time so that there's no stories that touch. We've heard of people that, um, you know, by a stroke of chance, they just one night a baby came in. Uh, and, 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 you know, something does happen. And we've seen cases where the lady didn't, it was just. A moment of weakness. She just she fell. He's not. She's not prosperous. She's not. She's yes, not nah. Yes. In fact, before she got married, she was not, you know, into all of that. But staying apart, things mm -hmm. happen. Emotions play, fly, oh, yeah. And she needed somebody to comfort her. And um, things happen. And today, you know, so don't, don't, if you can avoid it, please avoid it. Yes. Ah, uh, long distance. If you can stay away, stay away. Try. Together. As in, if you can stay away from it. That's what I mean, please. If you can avoid it. Even staying in Akure and Lagos is a lot. It's a lot. If I even stay between here, as in, as in Ikeja, the other in the island, is a loss. Yes, I, I don't mean that to. Relationship requires uh, continuous conversation. Before you turn back and come forward, things could have changed. <laughs> uh -uh. See, let me just tell you something. Let's not deceive ourselves. This thing is so simple that it takes you to be stupid not to get it right. Human beings are human beings. And they thrive in relationships. You are in the, you are in the mall. You just went to buy something in the mall, though. You left someone else in your outside. Somebody is saying hi. How do you? Uh -uh. I mean, it's already... Like practically hug you. As in, things are already moving saying, on. Ah, well, you know the... uh, do you understand? So I want to suggest if you can, if you can, if you can, don't don't um, pursue long distance relationships. Now listen. Love is to wind. I mean, love is to absence. What wind is to fire? If you can lose the great and put out the little. So distance, lo love is to distance, beg your pardon. Love is to distance what wind is to If the king does the great and it puts out the little, what that simply means if you have built love to a point, distance can fan it up more. So you are eager to see. That is healthy because you have achieved a level of communication that can make you safe enough for you to be distant from yourselves. That is a relative thing. Nobody can measure that. We don't know that. So, yes, distance might not be fatal, but can lead to fatality. Yeah. It depends on how it is used. I, I feel and recommend and strongly suggest if you can stay with, I mean, if you can stay together, stay together as much as possible. For long term, we need to query your why. We need to query why you are away from your spouse. Why? How come? What happened that both of you are far away from each other? When I'm married, I'm married. You know, and whatever thing is standing between both of you, you need to work at it fast. The period of working at it can make it look like a short time. Because you are on the game. Working at it. But if you just chill, at this time, how I, I'm getting used to talking on phone, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. I, I can tell you that absolutely. It's not a good thing. In, in divorce cases, one of the things they used to achieve divorce is that you have not seen yourselves for two years. 
if you know divorce, if it is it's public, everybody can bear me witness. Say, yes, for two years, it's gone. Lord said, have you went to divorce? of every magistrate to encourage you to go back home. If you've seen yourself for two years, to go and make your marriage work. Yes. They tell you, go back home and go and make your marriage work. That's for you to see yourselves. That means you think I still want. I know you hate yourselves. It's how it is done. So distance has a place to validate divorce case. Yes, that's what I'm trying to bring out from that. That distance, frequency of seeing yourselves has a place. So I would advise, if you can stay with that, and then for long term, like Mama said, you don't need to build a castle before you take it, right? I promise you, the blessing of the Lord comes on you. Yes, and that's even whether Christian or not Christian. That a man takes up a choice to marry. You see, one of the agendas of the Antichrist is that there should be no marriage. One of the signs of the ends of time is that marriage will be discouraged. Yes, sir. Check it now. First Timothy, is it? Check it for me, that scripture. It says, the forbidding people to marry. It's not the signs that the end of time has come. Returns to marry. That's you see, in a single wood, leave me alone. I mean, I know what I'm doing. I cannot be anybody's 5 a.m. All those things can help you. Uh -huh. See what it says. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God had created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Okay. They will require celibacy and dietary restrictions that God doesn't expect for the all foods to be received. The celebration of faith by those who fully know him you know um no truth. so I, I i i just want to say this that anything that will not make you marry or marry on time avoid it avoid it try your best to make a decision and stay with yourselves and i will say this it's also a difficult thing when one person claims to have a higher vision than the other person that thing is to make somebody look stupid mm. That you, you don't want a good life for yourself, so she let me go and sort it out. Or the guy looks like he's not sharp enough, or the girl doesn't have ambition. I'll just say to you that please try that with your ambition, have God. Hmm? Mm. Let God guide you yes, so sir. that you don't lose on everything. Yes, and so I was telling so those in my in the car when I was driving down that don't just say I want to travel out. If you don't know what you want to do there, poor people everywhere. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, there are very poor people everywhere. Don't just be deceived by the ambition of traveling now. Let's just travel. Let's just travel. Let's just... That you travel doesn't mean you are better. I know what I'm saying so well. So well. So just I travel. Let's just travel. I know. Now, if you know what you are doing, please, by all means, go. I'm not uh, suggesting you should not travel. But I'm saying don't just think that traveling will just change your life. You know, so that you are leaving your bloke or your spouse or someone behind. I've, I've experienced it before. It's very difficult. It's very unhealthy. And I would suggest if you can avoid it, please avoid it. I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, I just want to say that um, the subject of relationship and marriage is a very important one that you should not leave to future chance. Don't leave it to chance. Claim they can't cope. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Nobody says you should meet the person I'm married tomorrow. They don't push it down the shelf and say when I'm ready. The expectant. Be expectant. <laughs> this girl, Mary, Mary in the Bible, before you find out from Wikipedia, was a teenager. She was a teenager. In fact, in fact, let me say it carefully. In fact, in fact, 
It was child abuse. She was barely 16. Some people say between 16 and 18. I believe God wants early marriage. The way I so believe it, I don't think anybody can make me unbelieve it. Marry on time. Someone said, I don't know if it's true, that from age 12, an average lady starts to think of who she stays with. You know? Sapa came in, changed the age, that plan. <laughs> it changed the game of that thing to my uh, 22, you know? So, so, but what I just want to say is that start early. Brothers, start early. You, many people would have met their spouses earlier if they were looking out for one. There are people I met to marry, and I was not joking. Just because I took this thing seriously. Start to read books from Walter Trubbish. What book on marriage have you read? It's not chemistry that will keep marriage. Old. That's why chemistry alone is not a subject. You have to do Fikemba, you know? You, it's, you, yes, you have to do physics, chemistry, and biology. What are you doing with chemistry? Alone? You know, what I'm just trying to say is that take this idea of relationship serious. If you've done so, good for you. What I've realized is that some people who are in that phase are learning something new that they wish they had known earlier. The name of that statement is that now we are saying regrets. So I'll suggest start early. I attend programs that suggest this. It's good to see you here. Eh? When it's... Do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, for communities like this, Come, hear what others have to say. Yes, sir. Hear what people have to suggest. What I've realized is that God will always get the information that matters to you to you. What you do with it is up to you. Yes, yes. God will also get the man that you should marry across to your, your environment or the woman. What you do is up to you. I don't think you get what I've heard. Yes, so I would suggest you take it, number one, seriously and on time. Start to pray about it. Usually, it doesn't take forever for God to answer prayer. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, Once you pray, expect an answer. Yes, it's hardly ever forever. That spouse or that person may be somewhere around you that you are assuming. I mean, I saw casually, and I'm not only talking for myself. I saw casually my mama under the tree. I just was looking. I was expecting a babe. I was trusting God for a wife. I did not I did not insist that it must be that year or anything. But I was under the tree. She was studying SATs. Money, where is this one going to? You, you are just reading SATs that time. SATs in 2001, 2002. You know, that's this one wants to jack her from time. So I was like, ah, ah. I saw two earrings. I said, what church do you go to? She said, CAC. See, you CAC, you have two earrings. I liked that. You believe that's what I liked. See, this is very interesting. That this control, I like controversy. I don't want, I don't want someone that was just say, say, I, didn't, I didn't want that. I wanted someone who could, you know, own her voice and own her person. And um, if you saw her pictures then, now she's very beautiful. And uh, we're not, we're not looking. <laughs> but what I mean to say is that we grew up into it. I was expecting then. I was expecting then. So when I asked her that I was going to marry her in four years' time, and she said, What will she wait for for four years? I was surprised. That you are ready now? I said, Me, I'm not ready. I can't, I can't because you are ready now be ready like that. I said, It's me to take the decision. And I am just trying to stress expect a relationship, and it's coming. It can come on social media. It can come to a friend. It can meet you anywhere. Love meets us in different places. For me, it was under a tree. We we're just sitting down. I was just listening. And there I was, boom, I like this girl. Who is this girl for? I sent my boys to go and find out what's going on, you know? And then they came back with reports. And then I was like, okay, are you sure? Yeah, because it's dangerous to just go on campus and go and be asking another person out. Cultists might take offense at it. And then you say, I'm a pastor. Yeah, well, pastor told what? You must find out what is going on, you know? So I, I did my background check and he came out to him and I was like, okay, fine. So I just say to you again and again, don't go old. You must be able to have a 
if you get what I'm saying yes. Yes. Uh, he was able to handle other things. Don't say, ah, when I finish this business, then I'll now and for that is not the day you finish business, you marry. Start to join it like that. Number three, if you are not married, I would suggest you seek counsel before you choose someone. Let it be on record that you sought counsel. Not just that you alone say, don't tell anybody what's going on between us. Nobody's going to break your relationship. Well, who has your time? But so that we will not be coming for the, what you don't want to tell us in private, we won't be coming to court to hear it publicly. So I'll suggest to you that if you are not in a relationship, be open to counsel. Be open to discussion. Don't feel overwise. Don't feel overwise. I know that it can be unhealthy to tell people what's going on with you, but there are people you should tell what is going on yes, with sir. you. Yes, the prayer is that find out what's going on. Not that they are beating you in that relationship, you are keeping quiet. Mm -hmm. And beating can might not just be the man hitting you. The wife can be bullying the man too. Yes, sir. Bullying. And he doesn't know what to do. He just talk. So I'll just say, to make it work, don't insist, ah, I know what I'm doing. If you don't know what you're doing, just open up and seek counsel. There's no shame in it. It's an institution that they give you a certificate before you start the program. And so I will suggest to you, please, make efforts after here. Commit yourself to making it work. I know that your spouse might not be perfect. But let me assure you, it's because you're not hearing other people's story too. Nobody's spouse is perfect. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. There was a sister who was, let me just share this enclosure. A sister shared with me one time like that, that she finds it difficult to, or her bloke does not like to pray with her when, they are, when he's angry. Doesn't want to pray with her, doesn't want to pray with her. I say, is that his offense? Say yes. I say, let me disappoint you. I'm like that. Say, pastor, you're like, I say, I'm like that. I say, I'm saying it just to encourage you. Sometimes you overrate your expectations. Mm -hmm. Just be practical. You'll be surprised and comforted to know that what you are going through that you are thinking is a heaven or hell program, pro problem. Somebody else is going through it like that. They're just not telling you. Will I now come and tell you that when my mama, we're not happy, we don't pray. Is that my job? I won't come and be telling you that now. But you're going through it on your own. If you did not tell me that's your problem now, I will never tell you that that's my, it has been a problem before. Do you, I don't know if you. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. So don't sit down there, deceive yourself. I know what I'm doing. You don't know what you are doing. Seek for godly counsel, yes, and God will help you. Yes. You know, some sometimes when I when I heard this, I said, please tell me another problem in this relationship. When she now feels, I said, can I tell you, me, your man of God, I do this thing you see. Before you kill your spouse, there's nothing terrible about it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, so seek if you are not yet married, seek for counsel. And even in marriage, be wise about your counsel. Seek for counsel. And all of us will get it right. Amen. The cow to scriptures. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, don't don't live your life in absolute uh, uh, just where I am. No, let the word of God constrain you. What would you do? Because of God. What will you not do because of God? Do you understand? Yes, yeah. Then I'll also say this before we take communion. Please, brothers, don't look too far. Your sister is not far away. Hallelujah. Yes. Sisters, brother, your brother is not far away. Hallelujah. That is not far away. Some of us, I don't know why it's like that. What you is what you don't have, you are looking for. I'm telling you, I personally believe that once you pray, and this is my opinion from experience of quite a number of years, that once you pray, God does not store your prayer points. He starts to answer it that day. From the moment you prayed, we were told about Daniel. Yes. From the hour you prayed, Lord, I need a good husband. That husband is already on his way. That you did not know him is not God's fault. So I urge you, open up your mind to what you're your way. It's not so difficult. It's not so difficult. Um, then I also say, between now and when the man comes, be sure you are informed and you know something. Some people are waiting, God, for what we can come in and destroy them. Let the man meet knowledge. Read a book on relationship. 
is even a sign you are expecting it. Read a book. Okay, you as a wife now. The only thing you know is that you married me as a good woman. That cannot keep marriage, oh. That, that you are not an adulterous woman does not mean you are a good wife. If the only thing you have is your chastity, you are not ready for marriage. <laughs> Do you hear what I said? Yes. yes. If the only thing you have is your chastity rights, it's not enough for marriage. Marriage requires wisdom. Marriage requires wisdom. Everybody say after me, say marriage requires wisdom. And please, brother, if you are dating a sister, don't be dating to test. Date with a plan to marry. Yes, sir. Don't date infinite dating that will just never end. No. From the day you start to date, have a plan that we will take it somewhere. Um, there was one more thing I want to say. Um, then know your weaknesses as a man. Know your weaknesses as a woman. It's your job to know your strengths. It's your job to also know your weaknesses. Don't say, I, it doesn't matter. I, I just I did not know. Don't discover your weaknesses in marriage. Know them now. Know them now. If you like yellow, yellow people, Know who you are vulnerable to. Don't let it happen before you say, I did not know. Know your vulnerability. And some people, it's not even people that is their it's money. Once money can be, attention can be spread on them, they forget their orientation. So please, I urge you, know your weaknesses. There's nothing wrong with that. All right? And I pray that the Lord grants us understanding. Let the word of God guide you. Don't use your life as an experiment. You only have one. You only have one. Use it for God. Use it for God. Let and, and you see, I was in the bank when the Lord said to me, resign. Do you think it's easy? Guaranteed food to keep a fine woman like this. Come on, Lord, by our lawyer, you will not believe it. To say I will resign. And I, they asked, Are you sure? I went through interviews before saying, Do you know what it means to stay in interview one? Yes. Interview two. They are giving you a chance to change your mind. Yes. You think God will, if I'm not led, I'll just come because I want to be making uh, money from you. <laughs> I'm saying this with the audacity of my calling. Listen to me very well. Let God guide you. Don't select what you want from God. That is mischievous. Let him influence you. Not that he's influencing you, as resist him. Touch me here, touch me here. But don't touch me here. What are you doing? Why are you dealing with? Let him have your to God. He will make you far better than you can be. I was at the airport the other day. My colleague entered the plane. He saw me. We were coming out of there from British Airways. As we were coming out, I, there were people waiting to receive me. Mighty men. If you see the hotel they took me to, when I got inside, they did not know. As they left, I laid down on the floor and rolled. We don't know how to roll. In UK, to other kind of hotel room. It's a blessing. What am I achieving? The way God wants to honor you. With your salary, you can't afford what God will give you. I got the bishops are waiting for me. I say, eh? I must be preaching powerfully. God said, no. I want to show you honor. A man of God, Pastor Kodjo, was ahead of me when he came out from the plane. He said, ah, you are on the same flight with Reverend Alex. He said, ah, he was in this flight. I would say, oh, yeah. He now chatted me later. And I looked, I said, what am I doing? Will my Zeni Bank money give me this kind of life? Hotel that even when I was there, I said, you know, when they, they're taking so they're like, for real? You know, like a for real attitude. When God honor you, when God honor you, even the great will call you great. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So I'm inviting you to a life of generosity with God. Don't think you are giving church money that you are using, you want sponsoring church. Before you came, church was. Don't let social media condition your generosity to God. Don't let your suspicion condition your behavior to a man of God. Are you listening to what I'm saying? I can't tell you the price we pay just to be a pastor. I can't tell you. So it's insulting when you now start to undermine our commitments. Or is it our intelligence? Or where, where what area? So it says, where neither moth nor rust dot corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal verse 21 there look at what it says and then we'll stop there quickly so i want to share this and then close for where your treasure so he's talking about malachi 
Because someone can say he's talking about spiritual souls, he's not talking about spiritual, he's talking about money. You know, you know, you, have, you, you saw everything else, you, you read someone, you change it to spiritual. No, he's talking about money. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Your generosity to the kingdom of God places it your heart in the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. That's what he's saying. Yes. Some of us, we've never given God any sum of our investment before. But God, we wait to. What are you doing? Think God spends your naira or your dollars. Look, do you know that God, eh? Listen, God sees no, you can sit down. God seemingly, so to speak, overlooks some people's wrong because of their generosity. You know, I was saying one day that prayer, fasting does not that I said giving. Ah, that one. God doesn't. Do you know that God told Israel that they will be slaves for 400 years? Do you remember that story? Do you remember that story yes, sir. that God told Abraham? Yes, sir. 400 years was the deal. When it was 400 years, God extended it that Egypt should still reign over Israel. For Go and read your Bible. Guess why? The new Pharaoh was feeding the widows. He was helping the poor. He was generous. God said, Kai, how would I change this plan? That he gave Abraham 30 years dominion extended. Unbeliever, um, the one we call unbeliever. Go and read your Bible. I'm not the one that wrote the Bible. So I'm just saying this to us that if anything you don't know how to do, be generous to God's things. Don't let them call for offering. You are sluggish about it. It's an opportunity. Your generosity doesn't mean God, your lack of giving doesn't mean God broke. It will never broken God if there's anything like that. <laughs> you know? So I want to encourage you. You want to see these things. There are times you can draw from your investments in heaven. Yes, sir. The Father, I serve you. Do you remember Hezekiah? Yes. They said you will die. Isaiah still. It was Isaiah that said a virgin will conceive. That's not a common prophecy. How can you say a virgin will conceive a child? Are you okay? God sent him. Go and he said, Look, Lord, look at my generosity. Look at my praise. Look at my life. God said, Hey, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. Go back and tell him you, with your mouth. God would have sent an apple paper. Just listen, go back and tell him with that mouth that I own you. 15 years more. How did we arrive at 15 years calculation? That means it could as well have been 25 years more. Yes. It could have been 10 years more. It could have been two years more. But they weighed his actions on his scale. It was what 15 years. I did. So you're giving. It's more than just giving. I just, every generosity to God's kingdom, you are a part of a covenant act. That's why you see me boast sometimes. I know what I give, sir. So I say this, and I'm saying it. So if you don't have money, have it in commitments. Say, I don't have money now. What will I do? I, there's nobody that doesn't have something. There's nobody that doesn't have something. And I'm saying that because, you know, it's not me here. There's a way you can drop a seed at the altar. Your children will never go blind. Yes, sir. Never. I have settled that with you and God. Life. I'm saying my own, you know. At, at least, thank God I'm not talking from the place of pain. Of frustration that maybe it's not working for me uh -huh. but what i know i should tell you yes, sir. and i'm saying it to you with the audacity of a man of god hear me very well yes, don't mistake in these things let nobody deceive you commit yourself personally as this devotion to god that lord in my generosity i will be expressive yes, sir. i'll be expressive let nobody taunt you with it you're not foolish for giving to god yes, some are giving to a shrine mm. and not even begging asking for anything that sponsoring a shrine constantly but you to preach to you, you and let me tell you I'm talking about this giving matter takes it takes a lot of courage because we want to make you know that we are people of integrity but i would rather tell you thank god i'm not a begging pastor i just imagine if i depended on church it would have been desperate brennan i would just be seeing money as i'm looking at you like this <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa. you know <laughs> brother god say sure you don't have that but there's a danger in my kind of personality i will not talk about it so it will just be that all of us are cool and the gang oh god in this kingdom sacrifice of giving is key yes, sir. Sir. No, because you know as an attempt to build integrity you don't want to talk about money it's because you don't have credibility on it that's why i'm not talking about it i have small i don't have all low but i have small i can boast about so please i want you to and that's what the lord laid on my heart today that i should challenge us to a life of conscious investment in the kingdom. Not mistake, oh. 
How many people are giving God a living? It should be an aspiration that in my lifetime, ah, you have spent a million before. So you have never given God 100,000 before. Life, never. It should be an aspiration, not the one that will chase you. Now give us fruit, give us fruit, give us fruit. What are you putting? Calm down. Let me tell you something. Your ambition for God, God puts it in your hands. I say this one, I can trust you. Unless you think God is not involved in this equation. So I just want to urge us. Be conscious that your generosity has something. Let me finish it with verse 22. For where your treasure is there, your heart will be also. Let's close it, please. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. And that's not what I want to talk about. Go, go down, go down. Uh, go to 24. Let me see if it's the scripture. Aha, this is it. This is it. Look at it. No man can serve two masters. For he that he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold on to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve. Please, who is talking? You know, when you are reading Bible, you must check. In CRK, they'll say, who said it? To whom was it said? Uh, where was it said? And all of those questions to show. Understand. This was said by Jesus. Now, hear this. If Jesus said this to us, the correct representation of God the Father said, you cannot serve God and mammon. What is mammon? Talking about money. Mammon is the God of wealth. Are you getting what I'm saying here? Yes, and Jesus not say you cannot serve God and the devil. Devil is not in the equation. What contends for man's life the most is Malachi. Malachi. I want you to see that Jesus knows what he's saying. A lot of them don't like seeing themselves. He says, you either hate this one and love this one. Or you love this one and hate, despise this one. Am I correct? You, look at it. He says, this, the word is despise. The money. Eh? So you have to choose one. When it comes to one, you must learn to despise it. No, money. It's not an issue. But we know we need money. Yes, sir. Eh? Because this is the conversation for the mature. Some people cannot handle They say, which one is it? Do we want money or we don't want money? No, no. Don't answer the question like that. That's a childish question. The question is, we can love the Lord and despise money. And yet, we still need the money. Did you get what I just said? Yes, sir. And trust that God is our supply. Yes, sir. I just want to encourage you because it's my job to challenge you on the things of the kingdom. It's my job not just to feel like a fine boy. And I'm not doing badly tonight, you know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. But guess what? Guess what? Yes. Yes, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yes, it's my job and, and to inspire you. But I must tell you the secret is your heart for God. Yes, sir. It's your heart for God. Ooh. Your heart for God. Yes, sir. I am, I am, I am going to be very grateful to God if I can reproduce this kind of heart. Yes, sir. Even if it's four, four in this church. Yes, sir. If you can match my heart, then you have something. I'm yes, telling sir. you. Recklessly involved. God, it's not a question. And I'm not losing anything. Yes, sir. I'm not losing anything. They come into a Koi club. I come for free. Chop. Wow. Chop. They order the chop. They pay my bills. Jesus is Lord. God bless you. I see you later. There's nothing to lose. They say we are going to play golf. Oh yeah, let's go. I'm a golf member. We play golf. Well, let's go. What, what, what is in the life that God has not blessed me with? And I'm, let me tell you, it's not because I'm a pastor. There are pastors that are broke. Yes. Don't say you don't, 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 don't think. I'm telling you, and I'm not saying that they are to despise anybody. Oh God, for have mercy. <laughs> But, but you know what I'm trying to yes. say? It's not because I'm a pastor, God is helping me. Don't think if this size, what, what, uh, you, you have not even finished feeling my fear, fear, my fear. So it's not that. God will pick you in the hole, settle you in the desert, and place you in the city. I'm telling you, sir. God, unless it's not the God of the Bible, moving dowry, I'm telling you. So, you know, sometimes you can't you think, what are we just doing? We're just gathering. We're just gathering. You're not a fool, oh. When God will collapse time in your favor, it will look like a sin. Ah! I wish I had known too. So, please, settle it in your heart. You can neither serve God and mammon together. You despise one. And me, I chose to despise mammon. Yes, sir. That's why you remember the day that Dotu said something about money here? That I said, never ever use money. You think I have all the money? I don't have all the money, oh. But I would despise money, sir. I will never put money beside God. That's what I'm asking you today. Make it up. Learn that today as you go home. Meditate on it. Never let money come and you say, yeah, your body is doing one thing. They are taking from you. 
Stop it. God is watching. You know, I don't know what is in your heart. God is watching. Some women will keep their husband back from doing the best from God. I know how it feels because women love security. And that money, as much as the husband, looks like security. You don't realize that he that saves his life will lose it. Yes. You and you'll be looking for where's the money now? Where is it? Where is it? You now be wondering what happened. Maybe, maybe your conscience will be telling you that it's because you're not going to be saved. Uh, 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 I call you blessed. Amen. You know, sometimes we need to say these things just to challenge ourselves. Make up your mind. God will not be competing bed space with you. God will not be competing space in your heart and your money. It's a decision. Lay for yourselves treasures. Treasure 